What's up, guys? Welcome to another Scratch tutorial. Today, we I'm starting a new series on how to make a submarine simulator in Scratch. Today, we are making this game where we can choose what costume to be, and we can move around in our submarine simulator game. This is part one, and we will be looking at how to add this stuff. In part two, we will add some sharks that we have to defeat and other things. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's create a new project. So this submarine game will be used by adding a player. So let's name this name the sprite player and call this project submarine simulator. So in our costumes, we're going to pull up some costumes from my backpack. We have some costumes, so we can choose which costume we want to be. And you can get these costumes. I will share the project soon, after when I finish the series, and you can use those costumes. So next we want to do is create a new sprite. We'll call this arrows. So what this sprite is going to do is if we click this, we switch our costume. So what we need to do is create a simple arrow. So here I have is an arrow from my backpack. And we want to drag our arrow button over here and let's drag our player over here. When the green flag is clicked, you want to go to x0, y, minus 50. And we want to switch costume to normal. Actually, we want to hide. And do. So what we want to do is do a when I receive. What this message is going to be is when we die, we want to play the game over again. So what we need to do is make a broadcast. So we, when I receive new message, wait to play, then we're going to show, and that's all we need. And in the backdrops, we will do a when green flag is clicked, broadcast and wait, and we will broadcast wait to play. So in our arrow sprite, we'll do a when I receive, wait to play. We're going to show, we're going to go to that position, and we're going to create a clone of myself. Next, let's get a forever loop and a if else statement. So what we are going to check if we are touching the mouse pointer. So if touching mouse pointer, we're going to set our brightness effect to 30. So this will allow our player to know that we are pr going to press the arrow button. Else we'll set brightness to zero. Next, we'll get an if else statement. I mean, a if statement inside the if else statement of the if. The if statement of the if else statement. So if mouse down, we'll create a variable called costume and it's going to be for all sprites we're going to set costume at the beginning to nothing if mouse down then we'll set costume we'll change our costume by one and then we'll wait until not mouse down And then that's all we need. So next we'll do a when green flag is clicked, we are going to hide. So what this create clone of myself is, it's going to create a clone, but instead this button will allow us to switch to the previous costume. So let's duplicate this stuff and we'll do a attach that to a when I start as a clone. Instead of changing costume by one, we are going to change this to negative one. And then in our player, 
we'll do a forever loop and we're going to forever switch costume to costume so if we hide our costume sprite and we play it now oh uh, what we need and also in our we we need to change our position so instead it will duplicate this go to xy and we will go to the same not to the same x position the same y position but the x position negative one though and put a negative one so it'll look like that so if we run this now it will look like that and we need a point in direction 90. A negative 90. So if we click this, we ha we go to the next costume. If we click this, we go to the previous costume. So this is exactly what we want. So next, we want to make a play button. So let's create a new sprite and call it play button. So this button will allow our player to play the game. So in our costume sprite, we're going to pull up a costume from a backpack, and it's just a simple play button. So we will put this over here. And I'm going to put this actually over somewhere over here and just move this up a bit. So we have a room. Okay, so now in our play button, we'll do a one green flag is clicked. We're going to hide. And we'll do a when I receive way to play, we are going to show. And then we will get a forever loop and then an if else statement. If touching mouse pointer, then we're going to change size by 120 minus size so if we go to looks we have this size variable over here and we want to divide that by three and we want to set our brightness effect to 30. else we will duplicate that put that in the else change this to 100 and just change this to zero so it's doing this Okay, so now we want to make some text. This is just the design. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to do this. We'll call this text. It's just going to be a text over here. It's going to be the title, but you don't have to do this if you don't want to. So we will get a, uh, write some text. Call it submarine. simulator this is just text for design uh it you don't have to do it if you don't want to so when the green flag is clicked we will go to this position over here and we want to hide when i receive way to play we will show and we want to make our submarine text to like shake around a bit. So get a forever loop and we will point in direction. And I did this in my last tutorial. We want to get some two, two multiplies uh, and a subtract. And we want to get this block called abs of. Make sure to change that to cosine. And we're going to do the cosine of timer minus 2. And we want to multiply that by the value. And we'll, that value is 275. And we want to times everything by 15. So, oh, and this needs to point in direction. 
let's flip this around like that. Like that, okay. So it's just shaking around. And I'm going to make a simple backdrop here. I'm going to, since we're, it's a submarine, we're in the ocean. So we'll make an ocean here. Okay, so in our player, if we play, so we'll do if statement, if mouse down, then we are going to broadcast and wait. I'm going to broadcast a new message called play game. So every in our text byte, when I see play game, hide, and we are going to go to control. I'm going to stop other scripts and sprite. So make sure to put that in the other sprites. But instead, not the player though, not the player. So this one, this sprite, and in our player, we're going to do something different. When I receive play game, we are not going to. We're going to set our size to 55%. And make sure when the green flag is clicked, we want to set our size to 100%. So if we play now, it's like that. And we want to go to this position. Next, we are going to make some variables. Let's make a variable called x velocity. And y velocity. So these will allow us to move up and down and left and right. So forever, we'll do if statement. If key up arrow is pressed, going to change our y velocity. Change our y velocity by two. Duplicate that and we'll do down arrow. And this will be negative two. I'll just duplicate these. Actually, we'll not. We'll set our x velo y velocity to y velocity times 0 0.9. And we're going to change y by y velocity. Next, we will duplicate all of these and put this over here. And we'll change this to right arrow and this to left arrow. x velocity x velocity, x velocity, x velocity, and change x by x velocity. So make sure you change that. So now if you run this, as you can see, let's say we are, we choose this costume, you can move left and right, like up and down, left and right and stuff. And what we also need to add is a point in direction, point towards mouse pointer, and when the green flag is clicked, point direction 90. So let's do that. And as you can see, we are pointing towards the mouse pointer. So this was a tutorial on how to make a submarine simulator in Scratch. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Scratch tutorial. Peace out.